What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today I am going to show you on how to create functions using C++. It is going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first, check out my new Unreal Engine 5 course with Game Dev TV on how to make a full stealth assassin game with blueprints. You will learn how to make a whole bunch of different mechanics that will turn you into a pro Unreal game developer. This course will supply you with all the resources and assets that you will need. So you can check it out right now through the link in the description. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a simple new class let's call int tools new c++ class and let's just select actor so we can just drag it into the level it doesn't really matter let's select next and now if you created the project initially using blueprints from the epic games launcher don't worry because this will convert your project to also use c++ so let's just name this something as tooth functions something simple and let's click generate class and this will basically go ahead and open everything that we need in this case visual studio there we go have it here so as you may know we have two files we have the header file and the c++ file i go more in depth in my uh, beginner uh, c++ tutorials which i will be linking in the description but basically in the header file we will define all the variables and functions and in the c++ file we will actually uh, define and write off the logic for this variables and functions so let's go into the header file and basically let's create a new function. So let's go under the public section. So if it is under public, as you may know, um, all of uh, the classes will be able to access this function. It doesn't really matter what we do in this tutorial, but uh, just to put it in a place. So let's go ahead and begin creating our variable. So the first thing I wanted to say is what um, type of you know thing we will return. In this case, if we are not going to be returning anything and just executing code, we are going to write void. Then the name of the function itself, for example, just to test my function. And then we will need this parenthesis. That's the syntax the functions use. Okay, as you may know, function, function, they always use parentheses. And now inside of the parentheses, we can put inputs. But in this case, let's not put any input and then finish the line with a semicolon. So now if we save, we have this new function created. That means that, well, now in the C++, we can begin to write some code inside the new function. So what we need to do is basically go down and begin writing our function. So in this case, again, the type that we're going to return, in this case, void, because nothing, we're just going to execute things. Then we need the name of the class. You can see we're doing here in the tick, begin, play, and so on. We'll need the uh, name of the class, so which in this case it is tut functions. But you can see that there's an A at the beginning, that's because it is an actor. Okay, so remember to put that on. So A tut functions, and then we need the double semicolon to indicate that we're accessing uh, property on that class. And this will basically be the function itself, which is my function. And now the parentheses, and of course, we can open up the um, you know, the, the squirrely brackets. To put everything inside and we can do whatever you want you can create new variables right and define them and whatever you want and basically uh, maybe print something so we can do an u log and we can print on the uh, screen well not in the screen but in the output log like hey or something right you basically will do everything from here and now how do we call this function well it's very simple for example let's execute this function in the beginning place so when the game starts so let's go here and just write my function the uh parent is very important and then the semicolon and that's it that's how we will call at the beginning play this function and all of this code will be executed and now we don't have that code basically all over the beginning play and it's more organized and of course right now it's a generic my function but normally it will be something as shoot uh, reload something like that and now basically we can return back to Unreal Engine, hit the compile button, and all the changes will be basically uh, compiled. And we should, of course, not have any errors. There we go. And now we can just go to C++ classes, search for functions, and just drag the actor here. Now, because it doesn't have a mesh or whatever, you just go to the uh, center of the level. That's okay, it doesn't really matter. So now if I press play, go to output log, as you can see, we have hey, which is basically what the function said to do. So that is going ahead and working. 
basically apprented this when they called the my function. So now let's look how we can make a function have something. Let's say that we want to go ahead and print something, right? Uh, something that we tell uh, when we call it what to print. So for example, let's say that we want to print a float. Okay, so we want to receive a float to put in our text. In this case, we can just put the type inside of the parentheses and then the name of that new variable, which will be like the, I don't know, the number that I'm gonna be printing. And now, very important, we also have to do exactly the same thing on the header when we actually uh, make it. So let's go ahead and just put here float and it has to be the same name, of course, which will be a thing that was number. And now we are basically passing a parameter, basically an argument here that we can um, use in our function. So in this case, we can put uh, like number and then we can put the uh, percentage value and put F has gonna print a float and then go ahead and put a comma and put our number. So don't worry about that. Okay, this is syntax of the ulog. Um, but basically I'm gonna be printing this number. Okay, it's just an example. So I'm receiving this number and then gonna print it. But of course now we have to call it. So basically when we um, you know call the function now we need to pass that number. In this case, for example, 5.5, right? It's a float. And that we can go here, press compile, and you will see that now, like it is supposed to be, it will print number, uh, semicolon, and then space five. So now if I press play, open the output log, you will see here, it's very small, but number, there we go, 5.5, and then of course it's a zero because it's a float. So there we go, that is indeed working. So that's how you can also pass parameters into your functions. But now let's quickly just look at the last thing on this tutorial, which is returning a value. Right now, of course, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it is returning nothing, right? Just void. Well, let's change this. Let's make that the return will be a Boolean. So it will tell us if this number is five or not. So now we can go into the C++ and of course, again, make sure to change and update the value that will return. And now we can just go ahead and um, make a return value. So let's uh, get rid of this line of code. Let's make return. And now we can put uh, if it's true or false, right? So in this case, if it's true, it will do this. And if not, not. So we can put an if, for example, and say if number is equal to 5.5, right? It will go ahead and return true. But if it's not, right, we do an else it will basically return false. And this return is the key, basically where it will uh, give us um, if it's true or false. So now in here, I can basically create, uh, for example, a new Boolean, which will be success, right? And um, then, give me a space here, I can say success will be equal to my function, because now this will be returning a Boolean, which I can hook up into my variable. So now we can test this out and let's just go ahead and I am going to make this uh, Boolean um, available at the public. So let me go ahead and just uh, get rid of, uh, so let me just copy this, go to the header file, go down here, just paste it and then write uh, U property uh, display, sorry, edit anywhere. So now I can see this uh, Boolean, right? And basically, uh, let's check it out. So let's go into Unreal, compile, as you can see, there we go. And there's, there we go. So now if I select my toot functions, uh, you will see that we have a new variable, which is success. It's a bit small, but you can see it here, right? Right now it is empty, but if I press play and then go and select once again, the toot functions, you can see that indeed it is uh, enabled. It's checked, it's true because of course, I pass 5.5. So let's check now if I pass, for example, 7, which is not going to be equal to 5.5. So we re should return false. So basically, this should remain empty. Let's test this out. Press play and. Okay, that was interesting. We are actually. <laughs> it's because we have to compile. Okay, so sorry about that. I forgot to, to compile. Very important. Um, so now if we test this out, and press play, this should remain, there we go, empty. 
So that's how it is working guys. Now you know how to create functions inside of Unreal using C++ and how to basically um, just execute code with a void or passing an input parameter to do something with it when you call it or actually return a value. So that's it with this tutorial. If you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more C++ tutorials, let me know. Uh, check out my new course with Game TV on Unreal Engine 5. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye-bye.